Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Monday morning wake up call. Thought we'd mix it up and give you a little outdoor shot of the Capitol. We are uh, starting week five this week um, at the session and we'll let you know some a few things that happened last week and what we were expecting this week. First, our uh, victim services appropriations request, those budget committees are all wrapped up now and they provide a ranking list to the executive appropriations committee. And the victim services funding was cut on that list by about $10 million. That doesn't mean it can't be put back up. Unfortunately, it also doesn't mean that they can't cut it even more. So now our work is to really work with the members of the final executive appropriations committee um, to make sure that's in the budget at the full amount by the end of the session. But that was still good news this week. We were ranked pretty well in that, in that subcommittee. We also had uh, HB 244, Representative Ivory's Victim Commission bill, uh, pass unanimously out of the House. So now that's in the Senate and we're waiting to find out what committee that will be in. The Lethality Assessment Expansion Bill, SB 117, also passed uh, the House Committee unanimously. So that has passed unanimously in every stage of the process. And now it's just waiting in House rules till the very end of the session. Once funding is assigned to that bill, if it is, it will have its final vote. And last but not least, we are still working with stakeholders on improvements to our domestic violence lease termination statute. That is HB 314 with Representative Judkins. We do expect that bill to be heard in committee uh, next Tuesday afternoon. So stay tuned for more info on that and some substitute language you've been working on. Thank you for all you do. And uh, we're over halfway through. So we will see you next week.